Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a deck review on the Bicycle Gaff deck. Uh, Bicycle Ghost Gaff, um, to be more specific. It's a great deck to have. Um, there are two ways you could have gone here. First is from my channel, and the second way, it, or any other way, would be to look at my video Choose Your Deck Review, um, in which I had gotten the Ghost, Normal Regular Ghost, and the Gaff Ghost. Um, so I'll be doing a sort of side-by-side -side reviewing on these um, in terms of the box. So this is the ghost calf. So uh, straight away, um, from what I see, the this the the whole box of this of the the ghost calf is is more whitish. Um, the box is whitish. I don't know if that has anything to do with um, dust collection or whatever for this deck, but um, it's white straight, uh, first of all, this one, uh, it says three of spades there instead of bicycle, um, on the sides, uh, as you can see, it's a greyish sort of one there, and a um, white thing there, it says the same thing, over here, same uh, same stuff, you got uh, the greyish thing, uh, greyish shading, and just white flow design. The bottom, uh, the go the gaff deck doesn't have a barcode reveal, whereas the normal ghost does. Um, the back design is the same, uh, except this is a bit. This one's more whitish. Uh, the top, uh, as you can see, it's um, fairly different, um, if you ask me. So yeah, that's the box. I'm not going to go into that too much. All right, so. Let's get into the cards straight away. All right. Now, the first four cards I'm going to talk about are the Skull Kings. There's one, two, three, four. You can do one, a uh, few tricks with this. Um, so you can go ahead and find out what to do with that. Uh, you will probably see a. Um, a playlist dedicated to the ghost scaff where there's going to be uh, various tricks on this. There is a um, ghost uh, ghost back blank card, double backer ghost, double backer ghost. This is a double backer um, double backer black tiger and ghost. And this is a blue back king of spades and ghost. Uh, sorry, king of diamonds and ghost. Double backer, blue and ghost. And then you get a series of blank cards. I think there are a total of five blank cards in this, um, all in ghost. Except there is one exception over here where these there is a six of spades uh, imprint on the back, which you can do a lot with. Then you got the um, this special thing. Um, it's uh, basically let me get this. Uh, there it is. So basically, what you do is you do a double lift and. Um, you got to stack that. And what you do is you do an Erdnaze, like this, and then you just basically do that. And yeah, it's a great, um, great thing to have. Okay, so um, that's that one. This is that one. Uh, this, these, this is the goes back. King, Queen of Spades, uh, Queen of Clubs, Ghost Back, uh, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, uh, Ghost Back, King of Hearts, King of Diamonds, Ghost Back, King of Spades, King of Clubs, uh, Red Back, Jack of uh, Hearts. This is a Royal Flush sort of thing with a Jack of, uh, Jack of Diamonds at the back. Um, this is a 10 where if I just put it down like that, um, all the Pips drop down, the center pips. This is an unfocused five, where you basically um, have a five there. You do something you want, um, drag it across, and then show that. Yeah, so many things you can do with this. Goes back. Then you get the cracked aces. Um, good addition to this deck. Uh, there will be a trick on this as well. So be sh make sure to check that out. Then you've got a double back of red and ghost. Then you've got uh, double faced aces. 
where you got a um, ace of clubs and a five of hearts, nine of clubs and the ace of diamonds, ace of hearts and the four of spades, and a ace of diamonds and the ace of spade double back. Then uh, this is a two of diamonds with a five of hearts scratched on there. It's a great, uh, great thing. This is a twenty-one of spades jack thing with thing there. I didn't get it. Um, this is a four of clubs, which it has the thumbprint on it. This is the six of clubs and the six of diamonds joined together. Um, these are the coffin cards where you can do a. Uh, color change or whatever and review this goes back um, this is the three and a half and goes back of clubs great addition to the deck um, then you've got the pip matrix cards which are like this All right then you got the cover of the deck where you can basically put on there you've got this like that so you show, okay, I've got a regular um, regular box here. Then basically what you do is being very careful, you can flip it over and just basically put the box down like that. Force the, uh, force the, uh, what's the card again? Jack of, uh, sorry, the three of spades and show the box. It's a great, tri uh, great thing to do. So there's that one. Then you got these, I don't know, we talk about these. Oh, I've got the wrong pile. Um, so there's that. Then, you got an Ace of Spades with a 4 of Diamonds reveal. Uh, then you got a Jack of Diamonds which is rubbed off and you got a stamped on 8 of Hearts. You got the five. uh, the, I don't know how to explain this. The pip is gone from here to here. You got the uh, double backing Queens which I shared. Um, this is the four of spades and over here it says the eight of hearts so you can do something with that. Um, this is the spun ace. You do a double lift, take the top card, spin on your hand, twirl like this and review that. Then you have another blank card. You got a palmed uh, ace. You actually get two of these where um, you get a normal ace of spades do a uh, nays, press down, and then show that your hand is gone with this, and then you can flip it over as well. So you have two of these, um, I think one for each hand maybe, um, not too sure why you, why you need two. But um, those are those. Then you get the reverse five trick, um, great addition. Then you got the uh, fading queens, last of all. So that's the Ghost Scaff deck review. Um, I try to make it as short as I can, but that's kind of not possible. Uh, so um, that's the review for that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, make sure you get this deck. Uh, it, it is pretty costly, though. Um, I think 30, 40 bucks if you go places. Um, but um, I recommend you totally go get it um, because you're not going to regret it. The same way I'm not regretting anything anyway. So, that's that. Uh, make sure you get this deck because it's really great. So, that's it, and I'll see you guys later.